Hey guys, welcome to my birth vlog. It is the 23rd of October. It is about half past 10, I think, in the evening. And I am in labor. Well, my water's just broke and it was definitely my water's. There was a lot of it and it was gushing out and it was, yeah, definitely water. There was no way that that could be we. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm not really feeling much. I feel a bit shaky, but I think that's probably adrenaline. But yeah, let's get this baby out. You okay? Mm -hmm. Phil's here. I will give you a little, um, yeah, it's in the cupboard. I would give you a little bod shot, but um, I'm currently stood naked from the bottom half down with a towel in between my legs. So I'll spare you that. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoy this video and hopefully by the end of it, we'll she'll definitely be here. <laughs> loads more water coming out. Is that? Yeah, loads. My waters are still pouring out. I've got a towel placed strategically between my legs. Um, I've called the midwife and we kind of just left it that like when the contractions pick up, I'm gonna go to the hospital. Um, but my mum is on her way. We're just waiting until the contractions get a little bit more intense basically because I also don't want to get there too early and then be there for hours. But I really don't want to get there too late, <laughs> like last time. I did say on the phone to the midwife, I was like, you know, my first labour was quite fast and I just, I really don't want to leave it too late. So she's just said, as soon as it picks up, give them a ring and we can go in. So that's what we're going to do. the midwife and my contractions are about five minutes apart they've got really intense so I think it's time that we go in so we're gonna head in now it's about 11 50 I think so we'll see you in hospital of contraction outside the hospital it's just gone midnight so we're about two hours into labor and it seems like it's moving pretty fast so we're going to get up to the hospital when Franks is ready and then see if we can get a birth pull and see we'll go from there We arrived at the hospital just after midnight and I was examined and told that I was three to four centimetres dilated. I told the midwife it was moving quickly and she said to let my body do what it wanted to do. I really lent into every contraction and tried to keep my noises low in tone to keep them low in my body so that I didn't build up too much tension. Within 10 minutes of being examined, I was feeling the urge to bear down and push. For some reason I also wanted to take all my clothes off. I remember feeling the same when I was in labour with Juno. I didn't want anything to touch my body.
At this point, I was asking to go into the birth pool. They were running it for me, but we weren't sure if I would have enough time to get upstairs to the room with the pool. I didn't feel comfortable stood anymore and wanted to go on all fours. I labored in this position for about 15 minutes and finally the pool was ready and I made my way upstairs. I got into the birthing pool around 1 a.m. and the water really helped to relieve the intensity of the contractions. I think it also slowed down labor slightly, which I was really grateful for because each surge was really powerful and I was getting close to panicking. The midwife was really reassuring and telling me I was amazing and really close to meeting our girl. At first I laboured in the pool on all fours. Each time a contraction came I felt her move lower and lower but she wasn't coming low enough. The midwife suggested a lunge position which you can kind of see me doing here. It felt really intense but the change in position really helped to move her lower with every contraction. I knew I was so close at this point, but I was finding it really hard to dig deep and push. I remember feeling like I needed a break for 10 minutes just to regain some energy. But with the midwife support, I breathed and I pushed and eventually her head was born. I turned over at this point because I knew within the next contraction that she would be born and I wanted to bring her to my chest. Give her a good little shove. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well done. Oh, oh smashed it, thanks. So hard. Oh my gosh. She's our baby. Hello. You lifted my head up. Oh, I'm so glad you're here, oh. darling girl. Oh. Hey, little one. Happy birthday. Say what's the time? It, I think she was born at 2 one Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh, your sister's at home. She's going to wait. Oh my gosh. So 201. That's crazy that Gina was 250. 201. This girl came in four hours. Four hours. 24. Been 
thank you so much for watching Rhea's birth story. She was born on the 24th of October 2023 at 2.01am and she weighed 9 pounds and 6 ounces.